Now for the next design concept, I don't need to give a introduction. It's a Pokeball. So for this, just create a new design and create a sketch in any of the vertical plane. Now here, start with a circle. As you can see in the sketch palette, we have lots of options for circle. We are going to select the center diameter circle. The keyboard shortcut for the same is C. Let it be of any dimension. And then create a line by tracing the origin. Now invoke the rectangle command by pressing R in the keyboard and select center rectangle from the sketch palette obviously and from the origin just create a rectangle like this by zooming inside if you need to. Now finish the sketch and invoke revolve command select this profile select this one and for the axis select this line that we have created earlier operation would be new body click on ok now as you can see we have two bodies the upper portion of the pokeball and the lower portion Next, we need a spherical entity in between these two upper and lower halves. But prior to that, we have to provide shell to it. Just go to modify and shell. Select this. Select this. And let's provide thickness of let's say 3 mm. or even two and click on OK. So next we can create this spherical tight inside but for the same we need to create another sketch. Let's show the origin. Just zoom outside so that we can select this plane and create a sketch over here. Again invoke the circle command from the origin, draw a circle which is almost touching the outer surface of the previously created spheres. Again create a line by tracing the origin. This line is basically serving as the axis for revolve command. Just finish the sketch. Let's hide the upper body and create a revolve. Here select this whole region and for the axis this line and the inner sphere is created. Operation would be again new body. We are selecting the operation as new body because this is more convenient for providing appearance to the design concept that is our pokeball. Click on OK and show the upper body. Now for creating this particular detail in the design, we need to create a offset plane. But for offset plane, we must know a distance. So to know the distance between the origin and the outer spheres, the upper and the lower body of the Pokeball, we can invoke the measure command. The shortcut for the same is I in the keyboard. Just hide all the bodies so that we can select the origin and show all the bodies and select or basically left click in the outer sphere. As you can see, it is 49.244 millimeter. This could be different in your case. Now again go to construct toolbar and create an offset plane. Zoom outwards to select this plane. 
and just provide 49.244 and it will create an offset plane where we can provide details for this particular portion. So select this and create a sketch and now we are going to create a series of circles. First a larger one followed by a bit smaller followed by two small concentric circles. And finish the sketch. Let's hide the origin. Now select all these regions by pressing control in the keyboard. Right click, press pull. And in the extend type, let's provide two object and select the inner sphere. And this will create a clean cut like this. Now go to sketch in the browser. Just show this one. This is required. Now from here, select this particular region, right click, press pull. Again follow the same drill, extend type 2 object and the object would be the inner sphere. Here the operation has to be again new body, not join because it would be more convenient for providing appearance. Click on OK. Next select this inner portion, this inner region. Right click, press pull. Make the direction as two sides. Now just drag the handle to see which side is increasing. So this one is side 1 and this one is side 2. So for side 2, let the extent type be to object and select the inner sphere. And for side 1, let it be distance. And click on OK. Hide the sketch. Hide the construction. And our Pokeball is almost ready. Let's provide some intricate details. Press F in the keyboard to invoke the fillet command. Select this. Select this. This one. And this edge. This one and this one. Let's provide some prominent dimension. This could be different in your case and click on OK. And now comes the fun part. Let's provide appearance to it. You can do the same in the render workspace, but this is more convenient to provide the appearance beforehand in the design workspace itself. And afterwards, you, when you need a photorealistic image, you can go to render workspace. Simply go to modify and appearance tool or simply you can use the keyboard shortcut A. Now here we can provide the appearance to body or components. That's why we were providing new body as the operation in each and every press pull command. Now here let's select paint. Let it be glossy. Select red one for the top portion, the top body basically and white as the bottom and gray for the inner circle or inner sphere. Let's provide white to here also and we are almost set. But as you can see, this uh, this portion over here is also of white coloration. But here we are having the same coloration as the inner circle. So what could be the reason behind the same? We must have forgotten to provide new body application to this particular press pull command. 
So let's find it in the timeline. I think this one, just right click, edit feature. And as you can see, the operation was joined. So just replace it to new body and click on OK. Now again, invoke the appearance. And let's provide white to this new body. And we are all done. Just go to render workspace. You can either render it or you can simply capture an image of the same. 